really nice to be here in the, the Mental Health um, Awareness Week. I identify as uh, someone who's uh, had mental health treatment for, uh, for quite a long time. <laughs> People always say that, like, you know, how do you identify as, as uh, being someone with me? When I went into the mental hospital, I didn't, I didn't even know. I, I kept thinking, and the people that I was with, what are we doing in here? <laughs> Why are we in here? And they, so I was at the Bethlehem, which, they, which is called Bedlam, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's in South London, big hospital, lots of grounds, biggest issue, well, not biggest issue, university. But they've got like a central cafe as well. So you had all the, 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 the different users would meet there. We was actually on a lot, there is some, there's loads of up for but we was, we was only allowed out after a certain period. And we got taken over to there. And I used to look at all the other people. I know we've had lots of um, eating disorder people. And I used to look at them, they're really skinny. <laughs> and then there'd be all these uh, 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 people that you'd be talking to and they would be like, you know, showing signs of, of autism and other sort of like expressive <laughs> but every single one of the, 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 the things, that, I didn't think I was sick at all, and every, it, I had all of it, do you know what I mean? I had the psychosis, I had the, um, um, I, was, I was like, they called me Chunky Mark, I was like seven, seven and a half stone. So I was a drug addict, so it was like lots of heroin use. I identified as a, as a heroin addict, but I would take every single drug you know, um, very young age. I think I got taken a lot. I was going into the Maudsley. First time I went to the Maudsley, so I went in there, still don't think I'm mad, so I went in there. And I, because I, I didn't know what to do, and I said, look, I want, I'm going to kill myself. And um, uh, they started to do the assessment, things like that, and, you know, which I was talking, I said, yeah, I'm using lots of, like, uh, smoking lots of, Heroin and oh, you're a drug addict. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you need to go over this side. <laughs> they sent me down to the other, the other thing. It wasn't about like committing suicide, but it, it, I mean, it's um, it's a proper trauma, do you know, and it's lifelong. Affects all your family. Doesn't discriminate. Doesn't matter what class you come from. It doesn't matter uh, uh, who you are. You know, it, it it and it smashes people to bits. It's proper, you know. <laughs> And you look and people make, no, I, you know, um, homelessness, you know, I'd beg in as well and things like that. And it's really interesting seeing the royal wedding and kicking out all, all the homeless people. Yeah. And you've got all the, 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 the demented morons draped in flags <laughs> camping out, do you know what I mean? In a, in a God save the Queen coma. <laughs> No, they're allowed to camp out. They're actually physically allowed to take their sleeping bags and the homeless community, lots of people with mental health, lots of people with drug addiction, lots of people, vulnerable people, they had, they had their bedding, their belongings confiscated. That's horrific. That's the way, that's the way, and we're in Mental Health Awareness Week. Yeah. And that's all that treason way talks about. Because it's not about putting more money in, it's not about building more services and creating more service to people who need it, it's just all that. That's not policy, that's not, that's not helping anyone. Harry wouldn't like it. Exactly. But yeah. the thing is, it, it, is you, you have a media that, 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 that will bash the NHS, that will, that, that will come out against um, public sector workers, and also come out against the homeless. So you imagine these people, vulnerable, mental health, drug addicts, screaming, you know what I mean, on the streets. And what does the newspaper do? They support the Tory council of Windsor kicking them out of town. And what do they put up? They want to cash in. Cash in. That's what they said. That was, that was their narrative around vulnerable people. That's horrific. Cash in. <laughs> what are you talking about? A dress costs 32 million. Everyone's making money out of it. You know, it's, it's, they're talking about it's a billion pounds. 
And the one community that is screaming for help, they want to cash in. That's madness. That's proper madness. Yeah, so I get up every day and I do this uh, uh, kind of blog thing, but um, I'm the artist taxi driver, and that's, um, uh, so from the artist, everyone says, oh, you're really a taxi driver. Someone says, oh, you're really an artist. <laughs> so I, went, I went from, I went from um, uh, the, the, the hospital, the mental hospital, I went from there straight to college, straight to do art, because that's what they said. Do you know what I mean? I was in, I was in the hospital, and we were doing lots of um, uh, OT, but like ceramics and painting, got taken into care by the local council, and I got put in um, like a, a, a house where I wasn't allowed out. Rather addicts, we were doing therapy, but lots of, lots of art. He's massive, he's absolutely massive. Beautiful gardens, first in house, Clap and Common. You know, roses, I remember smelling smelling the roses. So had all that help, all that support, first in house is gone now. Do you know what I mean? It's like they shut down everything. The, the, the unit I was in, 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 in the mental hospital in Bedlam, gone. Gone. You know, they cut, like I looked on the BBC, it was like uh, uh, this week or, or the 10th of May, they cut something stupid. Like over a hundred, like it's, it's something like twenty percent of all um, uh, money going towards uh, uh, drug and alcohol addiction. You know, and, and that whole thing is it's, it's just that's all they. You know, they would rather the reason why they cut all these services because it's political is um, they want to give the money to um, uh, billionaires in corporation tax breaks. So it's political. They give 68 billion, and their thing is all that trickle down. 68 billion was uh, uh, corporation tax breaks. You know, people who need it the least, the same as the wedding, the people who need it the least. You know, billionaires lying on their yachts in the Bahamas. Drinking a, a, a licking the coconut off their pina coladas. You know what I mean? Lying on their yachts. People are, are, are lying in in in, in streets, uh, homeless, or, or lying in uh, uh, like uh, Peter read out like a family behind some bins, or, or you know, across the NHS, lying on trolleys, you know, dying on trolleys. So anyway, I went from the mental hospital straight to, it's a bit of a life story, I'll better go in a minute. <laughs> so I went from there straight to the, to the university where I, where I did some art. So I started, I did, did, did like um, a 10 year critical fine art practice where the only thing I wanted to do was get on the telly. So I did all these performances, pushing my monkey up with my nose, rolling, crawling. <laughs> I crawled from London to Canterbury, hands and knees, rolled between my teeth, 28 boxes of chocolates tied around my wrist and ankle, big sign on my back saying, could you love me? So I did lots, of, did lots of 10 years. And then I became this thing, but uh, we were just talking to, I forgot your name. I was just talking to Sheila, me and Sheila's related, we went to the same college, Campbell College of Art. Now, the thing is, is what this government doesn't understand, what, what, what we, we, you know, creativity as an access uh, uh, for people with mental health is massive, yeah. it's absolutely massive. I think in, in <laughs> when we, because I went on to work in universities as well, we used to think, Right, we need to get at least 20% of the students with mental health issues, otherwise it's going to be a shit course. <laughs> <laughs> because we actually, we want it, we want it to come in, you know what I mean? As, 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 as a wider thing, the way that uh, uh, creativity, they, is they don't even understand the economics of it. The economics of it are massive. Do you know what I mean? They're absolutely enormous. Besides the point is they don't want to support creativity, but even in this country, like I was just saying, to, to, uh, you know, we, massive film industry, massive uh, music, massive uh, uh, painting, you know, in and there. We've got artists, we've got, but they're not supported. And the way that that, that, it's a different economy. You know, they're all thinking about how much, you know, it does make billions for the exchequer. 
but it, 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 it enriches people's lives, do you know what I mean? It gives people um, a, a purpose. When, when you're, when you're um, uh, lost, in despair, do you know what I mean? No matter what your uh, mental health uh, uh, affliction is, art is like fucking escape, do you know what I mean? And, and you start doing it. Mm. And what we need is we need things like what they were talking about earlier, early intervention, but all of that stuff, all those therapies, they're, they're amazing. They go into schools, the children, young children, suffering with, with trauma, lost parents, you know, or, or traffic children or anything like that. They need to be, it needs to be there, and, you know, and you talk through your art. That's what it's about, you know. All of the work I make is all related to, um, uh, you know, it's related to my uh, uh, mental health, it's related to my illness. No, uh, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm still, I, I still go to the hospital and the gallery, we've got a fantastic gallery in there and I show work in there and I'm with lots of other um, uh, people who have like uh, uh, clients or people who are service users, I don't know what you call them anymore, there was a discussion of what do we call them? They're people, the people in the hospital, you know, all of us and we have lots of, you know, uh, uh, different exhibitions there and I've been doing, it's, it's a really good place to be. But it's the only one in the country. There's only one bedlam. It's massive. If you could see it, you see the gallery, you, you see the grounds. It's amazing. But there should be one everywhere. Like, I, so I go around interviewing people. So I had this, uh, I was doing, interviewing someone, and it's like they're suffering. They're living in Doncaster. It was a couple of years ago. So what services are there in Doncaster? Do you know what I mean? He's autistic, he's been locked up in prison. There's there like 70 people in prison with autism. They don't even understand what they're, you know, they're, just, they're locking up people with mental health. Mm. But the thing is, the thing is, 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 what services, when he was having a breakdown, when he was in crisis, what services, you know, mind, you know, thank God for mind, it's fantastic. But there are other like-minded people, they're not professionals, half of them, you know, they're just volunteers. But that's all Theresa May wants, that's all the Tories want, that's it. Do you know what I mean? Help yourselves. Do you know what I mean? That's just bollocks, do you know what I mean? We need, we need big places, you know, places where, where people can go and do art and, and have all the access and everything that, that you know, that, um, that, that I have to as well. Anyway. Thank you.